Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. It's Sunday, January 30th, 2022. My name is Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the bear podcast of Determined Lake, the episode number this 634. And I feel like I said something wrong because, or it was just for the fact that there was something, but you stuttered, like I stuttered. I was like, like, I knew it. I'm like, it it was because I was thinking the date and everything beforehand. I was like, I'm going to do this right. I'm going to do this right. And then when it actually got to it, the date disappeared from my brain. So I had to look at my watch. And like, okay. oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That day, today. And then I took my hand away from the mouse so I couldn't press the button again. And I had to go back and look. I was like, did I put the wrong date down? Like, why is he? Like, I said thirtieth, right? Yes, you did. You did. Yes, yeah. Yes. It's correct. It's because of all the things I do. The document's actually hidden at the moment, so mm. um, oh, so I have to remember these things sometimes. In any case. Hey, folks, it's that time again. This time we're doing it during the month that we're actually going, uh, what it's actually for. It's one of these. Um, so there was this thing that way back uh, in August maybe it was September, I was informed that Mm -hmm. everything was completed to to be done. But then my company doesn't like to actually make things official except at certain periods of time of the year. Mm -hmm. So six months later, this month, actually last month, I got an email or I got a notification saying, Hey, watch for an email. You should receive it in the next couple of days. I'm like, great. Check my email, 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 check my email. This is each day that I'm referring to. Still haven't received anything. About a month later. Y'all. I finally get the email. (laughs) I finally get an email saying, as of October 1st, or effective for October 1st, 2021, uh, you have a promotion. Uh, I am now officially, yeah, actually a trainer and uh, uh, got a raise and, and everything. Uh, it's it's not the role that my company calls it, but the role that I'm actually at and in, in the position and the pay for mm. that. So I am officially a full-fledged trainer officially even though technically i've been a trainer for several months already which also yeah. means that my paycheck had retroactive pay in it oh wait That's wait 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 because no. i got the email in january but it said effective of october 1st 2021 which means Gary, that the on. following paycheck Basically, they had to make up for all the pay they didn't pay me for my position. That. That right there is why I said, wait, 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 wait. But I got the money. It was just like. You mean to tell me you worked three months in a new position? No. 
in, no, I've been already been working that even before that. Deep in, <laughs> and doing more work, different work, and you were getting paid for it to the to the thing you were supposed to be paid. Yeah. Is this how they operate? Yes. <laughs> oh, I call shenanigans. That is some like FCC, FEC bullshit right there. That is them yep. moving money from account to account. Mm -hmm. No bueno. Mm -hmm. I call that highly suspect. What is that? I, what is I, that? I, it's that is crazy. Crazy. It's a big crazy. problem with my company where everything is slow. Every single freaking I don't, I don't thing is slow. You call it slow all you want, but it's like, no, honey, if I'm working this other position, you pay me for that position. And I don't go a whole quarter or two quarters of a year without the pay compensation that goes with it. Because what were you doing in the meantime? Either you never had the money or you had the money and you just weren't paying me. And if you had the money, it was in a bank account that had an interest bearing on it and you was making money on the money that you weren't paying me. I'm just saying. Can y'all tell I watched Drag Race today? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I'm saying, like. <gasps> so here's the thing: is I never asked for this promotion. I, I never. That's, that's it, fair. It, that's fine. I, 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 I'm happy I got it. Mm -hmm, I was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got a. When I transferred to the training department, I was I had a boss. He needed me to do some things. I did the mm -hmm. job that I was going to do. Mm -hmm. I I've been getting my annual raises every year. Mm -hmm. You know, this is obviously a bigger raise uh, because it's a position. Which I I think the difference between roles and my my thing was instead of a one, I'm a two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so moving up. So I like my job. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to complain about the fact that, Hey, you told us that you were going to send this and that I would get my retro pay a whole lot earlier. And then that. you wait a month. That part. All so, I can do, I can, I, I, all I can do, I could, I could complain do anything and i have it mm -hmm. apparently the folks at the head off don't give a rat's ass it's like we have this process it's very 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 slow and that's where it is so i i like my job i want to stay here i would prefer okay. not to make too many much waves i got my money i'm good I'm fine. Go ahead. So I yeah, understand. Thanks. I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate everybody trying to be like, hey, you need to do something about that shit because you don't you deserve better than that. Yes, I do. I do. However, I like my job. I don't want to complain so much and be like, okay, you ain't gonna I, do this? I'm out of here because you know what? I don't want I, this job at all. I so, will let you. I'm I'm happy. I I'm I'm here so, for my happiness. Congratulations. Not necessarily for the pay. I'm glad that you got compensated. Eventually. <laughs> I did get compensated. I did get the money. All awesome. I'm gonna say is this. Mm -hmm. What if you weren't there anymore? Would you still have gotten it? I don't know. Yeah. Well, See, I probably wouldn't have gotten the promotion anyways. They'd be like, whoa, well, promotion. you weren't here? Well, that's all right. Because you had the promotion <laughs> in August. Yeah, the paperwork that's was signed and everything. It's just, you know, they don't activate things until really late and only certain times of the year. Mm -hmm. So it's... Yeah, cool. it's All right. it's That's also cool. a compl it's based out of India. That's cool. Is where the, right. the home office is, so culture might be much different Move than us right in along. the United States. So <laughs> that's why. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. Uh, so I got a promotion, which also means, and I had plans. One, I was like, you know, what I found really nice uh, when editing. Uh, the podcast is uh, being able to plug my MacBook where I do all that in into uh, my. Uh, work screen 
so that I have two screens. I'm like, this is great. I love this. And then I also realized, hey, um, when we do go back to the office uh, next year, the way things are going, um, then I have to take this monitor back. So with my uh, extra money, I'm getting myself a monitor for my MacBook. And then I'll have a whole workstation. Yeah. Uh, my a, a, a Mac workstation for, for editing my podcast and everything. And I'm going to be very happy, happy on that. Also, in the meantime, I can end up plugging that, that new monitor into my work computer. So then I have three screens instead of two. It's great. Promise. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, also I'm going to see about getting a solid state drive for my other computer for my main drive, which should speed th some things up. That's a personal thing, personal decision. So okay. in the meantime, with the transition to the new year, we get new people, which means I'm training. These training people are working from home. They require equipment. Mm -hmm. During this time, uh, uh, the mothership, the, the people that my company are working for on this project, change the way that they release uh, equipment. So I've had these people for like two to three weeks now, or we've had them for two to three weeks now. And they still don't have equipment. And where we are in training is a place where it'd be great if they had their equipment. And so I'm right now making stuff up i could go over content again i could sh demonstrate some things but right now and I, I will say this this is not the company i work for this is the company my company works for the client <laughs> yeah the client yeah so the, con the contractor I, of the contract yeah yeah, yeah. I, I've been screwed by my own company. At least I got some payoff for that. And now I'm being royally screwed by our client. And now I have to be like in my meetings. Hey, so what are you doing? Well, we did the same thing we did yesterday. Okay. We did the same thing we did yesterday. We did the same thing we did yesterday. And I'm just Ooh, making shit up. Day. Yeah. And... It's frustrating because I just, I'm like, look, these guys are ready to get hands on, get their grubby hands on the tools and actually do the thing. In fact, they could be doing the thing right now if they had equipment. And so there's been some real frustrations outside you know, of are, the whole promotion gonna get thing. The, the, the I'm happy equipment. I got my promotion thing. Hmm? You want to know when they're going to get the equipment? Uh, next year? Oh, in about six months. Something like that. No, no. Remember, remember, we're talking about two different companies here. I yeah. don't care. <laughs> I'm just I mean, previously, it was like they were sending the, 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 one group of people got, got two of two computers. We were only supposed to get one. So, uh, so, it's, so funny side story. Apologize. Mm -hmm. um, so, Jim had similar issues uh, when he got his job um, last year um, where they were, they sent him like the first computer they sent him, um, the lap or well, the laptop they sent him, um, the keyboard wasn't working properly. Um, so they sent him another one. And then when they sent them that one, it wouldn't update. And so I think this is his third or fourth one. Yeah. It's just very interesting. And I understand 
you know, it's it's a the new thing. It's working from home and all that stuff. But like you said, like you can't do anything mm-hmm. until they actually have the equipment in hand. Mm-hmm. And um, if the people who are supposed to be doing that part of the uh, contract aren't doing it like properly or timely then maybe the company that you work for should find another company find another client yeah yeah so basically i would lose my current position and have to go to a different one don't get me wrong would still be with the same company no i mean I'm 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 saying that that they're the the people the people that need they need the equipment in order for you to train them on how to do what they need to do. Right. That comes from that comes from our client. Yeah. If they're not getting the stuff to them, we need a new client, you're saying. Whoever whoever is getting whoever is supposed to get the, the stuff to them needs to get the stuff to them. Yeah. Otherwise, what you're doing cuz what you're literally doing right now is a lot of video conferencing and sharing my screen. Time. Yeah, yeah, it is. Cause so, <laughs> I've just <laughs> oh, it said in the live chat. Just say you gave everyone a sticker for a good job. Um, <laughs> so I mean, at this at this point, I could say, "Hey, how are you doing?" Yeah, great. Um, yeah, we're um, yeah. Have a good day. Uh, I, I I don't have anything more more from you, so you you can get out of here. No, I'm not going to do that because the, my boss would be really angry at me. I got to do something, so I'm just bullshitting my way through it. My favorite, Jeff, what you're what you're what you're telling is like all oh, trainer war stories. Yeah, I remember those <laughs> because the cl- the the well only thing that I have not that this is a competition, but the only thing that that is a capstone above what you're experiencing is my all time favorite, which is. So the client doesn't have everything ready. So we're training and we're training and we're training and we're doing drills and we're doing role plays. We're doing all sorts of things. What we're not doing is the actual work. Do you know why? Because systems aren't ready. Things are not live. We can't achieve the things that we want. And it does this all the way up through launch day. And beyond. My favorite is when we get to lunch day, I'm like, what are we going to do? And they're like, have them sit with a veteran. And I'm like, you morons. There's no veterans because we're launching. Like, this doesn't work that way. Uh, (laughs) Uh, It just makes me laugh now looking back on it because it is. It's very stressful. It's very annoying. It's very discombobulated. It's not well taken care of organized. And yet... Such is the state of business in the world, apparently. This is like See, what bothers me yeah. is that yeah. this is acceptable. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. So I, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, when we get to me, I'll talk about something too. So go ahead. Yeah. So trainer, uh, so trainer frustrations. Sorry. So I may have gotten a promotion, but now I've got other problems and they're not necessarily with my. You own just company. get what comes with the job, baby. Like, I know. I know. <laughs> Gary gets me. I, 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 da- Dame is looking out from the outside, being like, "The girl, what the fuck?" When I was when <laughs> I worked in hospitality and I was a dishwasher, I was like, "I need to be a motherfucking manager because this is bullshit. I'll make more pay." Blah 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 blah. And then eventually, I got a job. Like, I got a degree. I got jobs. I was a manager. Managers in several different positions. And I was like, "This is fucked up." I was mm-hmm. like, you think it's better or whatever. And it's like, no, not necessarily because mm-hmm. businesses are just dysfunctional like families. Anyways, mm-hmm. Anyways so so work, <gasps> work woes. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I, I would cur- currently preferably be right now. I've finished with my training aids, passed them on to the next guy. Got a three stage training process. Um. <laughs> The, however, we have we time, have a so few people. We have a few people that's been in the third page stage for well over a month now. I think. God damn it! Oh, sorry. Ooh, 
Anyway, move on. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, but I'm frustrated beyond frustration. <laughs> you, you are completely <laughs> empathizing. David, are you frustrated for Jeff or are you upset with something else? I'm frustrated with Jeff. I would hate to be an employee okay. doing this training, okay. like waiting for shit to come in and being like, and if I had to come in and I'm doing the same shit every day, like, and there's, and I'm training and like, oh, we're just doing the same thing we just did yesterday. Like, I just did this. I know how to do this. What else can you teach me? Like, <laughs> like give me. Give me some, well, just, I mean, sometimes, but that's where you get creative mm-hmm. if you can. I, you which enough, I am lacking in experience. If, if you have the wiggle gen- room, gen- then right, then you start doing weird things, like you, like you flip the role play. Um, you make them do teach backs. You do, um, like you're the trainer. Um, you uh, treasure hunt. You, uh, you like you turn it into a mystery. You, I mean, just like you dream up scenarios. I mean, you just let you do all sorts of crazy ass crap just to pass the time. Anyways, we get, yeah. So everyone. So everyone understand. Damon could not be a trainer. Yeah. We I mean, I could, that. but <laughs> it'd probably not be a good idea. I would not be a good one. <laughs> All right. Here yet. Okay, continue. But Sorry. on the plus side, back. So this is a compliment sandwich sort of situation. Plus side, I got promoted. Downside, my job sucks right now because people aren't getting equipment. Upside, off of work, I have been enjoying my uh, Saturday D and D campaign. So, 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 so much. Excellent. Ah, it is so good. I love it so much. It's called Iomandria and the Dragon Sea. This is the art he uses as far as Roll20 page. Uh, we just started actually recording, uh, but not for anybody, for ourselves. Mm. Um, so I actually did that last night. So, And, and posted, and they're like, oh, I love it. This is great. Um, mm. it's the last, we actually, uh, the last two sessions, not the, this one they had yesterday, but the two before it, uh, was one day we got through a single day yesterday mm-hmm. because we had drama and role play and, oh, it was so good. <laughs> It tickles my my D and D pleasure bone. Um, it, it hits my P spot. Um, it, my Monday campaign doesn't, but it, fortunately that's wrapping up, and I'm just gone from that. Uh, and B and D is going okay. It's going pretty good. We had a beach episode a couple weeks ago. It's great. D and D, great. So that's that's. A, the major plus side of of, of January. Cool. And with that, I pass it on to Damon. After we spent <laughs> about what twenty minutes talking about <laughs> work frustrations and training and 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 ass hattery with your with your promotion. Anyway, mm. so hi, um, January sucked. Um, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna call it out there and not in the good way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with that. Um, sorry, I'm getting messages. Oh, I have to do that in a second. Um, uh, so first off, um, if you follow me on Facebook or what have you, um, on the in the I started um, co- I started the month of January catching COVID. Uh, both me and Jim got COVID um, back around the first week of January. Um, we have a pretty good idea of where we got it from. Um, and uh, yeah, so good for that. Um, for me, while the um, COVID was mild, um, it was more like a really bad not quite like a bad flu, because I didn't really, ha- I never got a fever. 
it was really just like a really bad sinus infection. Just a lot of sinus and congestion and chest congestion and nose congestion for me, coughing and what have you. And a little like fatigue and, and not a little, but some fatigue and just run down. Um, so as I was getting better, um, Jim was getting worse. Uh, so he was not feeling well. And even though we were both vaccinated, I was the one boosted. Jim had a vaccination from, um, he did a trial. So it was a, it's not one of the main ones. It's a, another one. Um, so on the Monday after a weekend, no, it was either Monday, Sunday or Monday. I can't remember which day. Anyway, um, whichever day it was, um, Jim went to the emergency room and decided to, they took him in and took him to the hospital. Um, there was an internal bleed um, in his um, uh, intestines, that area, gastrointestinal area, I think maybe from an ulcer, I can't remember, whatever. Uh, but um, they didn't, couldn't find it, but they um, decided because of the internal bleed, he was in the hospital for a couple of days. They kept him on observation. Um, they decided to take him off his uh, blood thinner medication because he has had blood clots since back in July. Um, he came home, I think Wednesday or Thursday, um, was feeling okay. We had a couple of days. Um, I think we even celebrated his birthday. Well, somewhat, yeah. Okay, going through, yep, 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 okay. Um, the following Monday, so the 17th now, um, Jim still hadn't gotten better, was still having difficulties breathing, um, and similar to what had happened back in July, so we decided to, he decided to, or we decided to, like he was going to go back to the emergency room um, to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, that's when they found out, um, oh, hey, the clots in his lungs are back. Great. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so the clot, lung clots came back. He was in the hospital for a couple of days. They put him on a IV of blood thinners, and then they, you know, basically released him with the same blood thinner he was on before. Because um, it turns out, hey, guys, COVID exacerbates um, blood clots. So the fact that he had COVID made it easier, made him more susceptible to the clotting again. So, mm -hmm. and with, I'm, I'm, I'm a little miffed that the doctors um, let him go home without taking care of the COVID in some way. Just they, 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 they um, um, prescribe him a, um, um, extra strength like cough medication mm -hmm. um, to help with the um, COVID and stuff. So yeah, um, so back in the hospital for a few days, um, he got out and he's much better now, but crazy fucking couple of weeks because in addition, um, not too long after he was, after we got diagnosed with COVID, uh, his mother passed away. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a hell of a couple of weeks, um, and uh, we're doing okay now, but holy shit, uh, was it a bit much. Um, sorry, he's calling, and I need to do that in a second. I, mean, I know what he's wanting, but I can't answer that right now. So, uh, yeah. So, that's been fun. That was uh, not, are not, absolutely not fun. It fun. wasn't fun at all. It was, it was pretty fucking awful, and yeah. Um, had several nights alone, which was weird. Um, so, um, but on the plus side, as we kind of do this like thing, um, which I had done before I started, um, before everything went down, um, I signed up to compete um in uh, at the north at north american bear weekend for north american pet so 
I'm doing that and I've been prepping for that all this month off and on between, you know, getting sick and then taking care of him and all of this stuff. We've been kind of preparing for it and it's been really, really amazing. Um, I'm looking forward to competing and yeah, I think that's about it. Yay. I'm excited, but I'm also little nervous but i think it'll be fun um and who knows what'll happen yeah so on that though be right back gary that's a crazy ass month um so on my side of things um speaking of covid i decided to go get tested um during this month i had a weekend. Let's see. I'm looking at the calendar. Uh, two weekends ago, I had one weekend where I was just totally wiped out for the whole weekend. And I was like, well, this is strange. Like, I can be a couch potato. Like, I can veg out. But this is like, my ass wants to be in bed. My ass, like, doesn't want to do anything. And, mm -hmm. like, you know, really long sleep. Lots of napping. So I was like, okay, something's up. So I went and got tested on MLK Day, uh, and lo and behold, the uh, rapid test comes back negative. And I was like, okay, fine. And still didn't, wasn't sure what the whole story was. So then the following weekend, uh, I went and got a PCR regular no swab, and that came back negative. So then I was like, well, there's only one test left, and that's to get a antibody test. And I went and had that done on Thursday morning. Yeah. And then Friday evening, after I got out of work, I got my results back. And I came back positive. Aww. But wait, there's more. Oh, God. So I'm reading the description, and then I'm mad. Uh-oh. And I'm I'm steaming mad because I am mad at myself because I knew this and knew better, but I am more mad at the testing lab on online ordering process mm -hmm. for not putting up a like little warning box or anything to say clearly because my dumb ass should have known better. If you have been vaccinated, you will come up positive. Oh. <laughs> because even though I've had mRNA vaccinations, the, the test will pop positive because it is looking for the antibody reaction to the virus. It's not mm. actually looking for the virus and in, in specifically it's looking for your body's reaction and I was like motherfuckers I spent money out of my own pocket for this dumbass test it's not dumb I'm the dumbass that like got the test to find out I'm positive with antibodies because I'm vaccinated <laughs> Ta -da! Mm. I'm a moron I work in public health that was not my brightest <laughs> moment and it's been a long time, uh, well, uh, over a year now since I've worked on COVID, but I was like, really? Like, yeah. I was so irritated because I'm reading the results, and in the results it explains, you know, if the if you meet the following criteria, your test will be positive. And I'm reading it, and I was like, so I was going to be positive anyways? <laughs> but I was like, well, that's dumb. Like, you should have told me that before I got the test, because then I wouldn't have spent the damn money on the test. And the reason this came up is because we were having a discussion at work about how would you ever know if you were positive? If you're an asymptomatic carrier, how would you know unless you're getting rapid or PCR tests all the time, mm -hmm. which is a pain in the ass mm -hmm. and there's limited supply. So I was like, all right, fine. I was like, I'll go the other way around. Like I'll, you know, see if I've ever had a reaction and my body builds up. Oh, so yeah. Not my brightest moment. There's that. So just as a word to the wise, everybody out there, here's here's your teachable moment. If you've had a vaccination, don't get an antibody test because you're going to come up positive because mm. your body is protecting you from it. So it thinks it has interacted with it. Mm. So it's going to make antibodies. 
Interesting. Even though the mRNAs are focusing on a spike portion protein of the actual virus, it builds up the resistance so it knows how to address it when it actually does get introduced to you. So technically, the test confirmed I'm vaccinated. <laughs> Congratulations, you've successfully been vaccinated. <sighs> yeah, it's so interesting to like have that be a thing because it kind of defeats the purpose of the test. Well, I don't know. And that was what I was thinking of is I don't think there's a test yet that can determine if you've ever been like, if you've ever had mm -hmm. the actual virus and which version, mm -hmm. um, like if you're, if you come up positive now and you have a test they can do genetic, you know, uh, sequence testing to determine what variant you have. Ah, um, I'm always curious how. If, I was curious which one we had. So, well, based on what you describe as your symptoms and the fact that 99% of the virus in the nation is is Omicron, you probably have the that one. That's what I had thought. Yeah. Um, so, but it's hard to know because uh, there are so many variants out there, and the ones that we talk about are the ones of serious concern. I forget how mm. it's phrased. The CDC has a title for it, but there's mm. like literally dozens, if not hundreds, of variants, but only specific ones draw attention because of their mm. spreadability, their replication, like how they affect the, the body. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. so, like other ones are, I don't want to say they're innocuous, but they're kind of like, nah, not that big a deal. Um, so, yeah, oh. uh, anyways, long story short, I got tested three times this month, and it was negative, negative, positive, which in the end, all it said was vaccinated, vaccinated like, big deal. So, yeah, not my, not my, well, okay. not what I was hoping for, but most, most likely, um, I have something else that, that has come up, which I forget about until times like this, and then it pisses me off. Um so I don't probably talk about it another time. I don't want to take up too much time. Um, oh, and then otherwise, outside of that, um, for those of you that are watching the video, you will notice that I have probably a very peculiar um, background. And there's a part of me that just wants to say, I'm just sitting outside. It ain't no big deal. You know, <laughs> um, the joke is, is that I have a white snow background because, baby, we got a whole bunch of snow. Oh, yeah. And we got more snow. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of didn't. And then we kind of did. It's um, it's and, no big deal. And it and it's kind of ah. not going away. Um oh, and yeah. then uh this Wednesday, I think, this Wednesday and Thursday, maybe we might have one or two days above freezing and then it's gonna go back down again. So what's ironic is I'm like, it's oh, this is I winter. Snow. Yeah, I have so, yeah. um we got snow on Friday or Saturday. I can't remember which day. Um, and it's a decent, I mean, it's a decent amount, um, maybe a few inches. Um, but, uh, I was a little like we, it's funny cause I was thinking, you know what, we got this snow blower and it is, I could, as I'm looking, I can see it right there in this box, just chilling. Not that we necessarily needed it, but it would have been fun to you know kind of actually use it <laughs> hey it's it better chance. to be prepared it right over yeah it's it, it it you're just being a good boy scout and being prepared mm. right you know it's like you, you never know right yeah right right yeah so i just i know i need to actually put it together probably that's the that. thing that needs to happen that's <laughs> that. very because i was i was looked because as it was snowing on friday i had actually had a half day of work um, I was like watching it. It was Friday, and I was watching it coming down. And I'm like, "Oh, it's it's looking like it's going to be snowing all day." You know what? It'd be really nice to like maybe take it out and like you know pl plow plow through some of this um, you know stuff and clear the clear the um, front steps and maybe clear some of the driveway. And I was like, "But oh, it's it hasn't even been like <laughs> I told myself I was like it hasn't even been put together." It hasn't even, uh, I don't even know if the, like, the battery has a full charge on it or not. Would it, if I were to put it all together and try to put it out there today, would it work? I don't know. So I said, eh, I'll, I'll deal with it later. When in doubt, be, uh, you could just at least open the box and find the instructions and read it. Be, yeah. Because usually they say for, before your first use, right. 
charge the freaking battery. True. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of with Jeff. If you crack open the box and at least look around and read the instructions, you'll have a, a heads up because part of me is like, baby, first of all, you got to put the thing together. And then second of all, you got to power it up and be able to like practice and use it. And you really should kind of know that before you need to use it because Lord forbid there'd be something you're missing. Mm-hmm. And and so, maybe maybe there's something if you only get it like it's electric. Yeah, it's cordless. Yeah. Do, 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 Sorry, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, does it because we don't know. It, it, maybe it's a only use when it went over two inches or something, but if you have one inch, which would be more like, oh, I could just take that shovel out. It's not going to be that right, big of a right. deal. But maybe the one inch might still be okay to use it, and you can use that as practice because it won't really be that hard on it. And also, you might have some fun blowing even the minor amount of snow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would definitely be, I would want to know about the size limitations. Mm-hmm says at the bottom and uh, <laughs> you know i mean there's there's preparation it doesn't require lubricant um you know there's there's some things you know does it have to be plugged in does it only work on charge like does the battery need to full charge do, do, do we have you know are we, do we have like the, the do is we there have a clip feature theory? on youtube that we can <laughs> clip that <laughs> anyway so yeah no Anywho, um, yeah so it's been yeah. it's been freezing winter um it got so bad. I have a shovel in my car. Oh, like there is a pile of snow in my next to my driveway that is as tall as I am. Wow. Because when you shovel snow, it has to go somewhere, but mm-hmm. there's only so much room and you can only shovel it and throw the snow so far. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you end up with some areas that kind of collect a bunch of snow. Plus there's wind and all that jazz. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was having that those thoughts because I'm realizing I know how I know about the range of the snowblower as an example. I know how like the depth, not depth, width, width. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I kind of have an idea. I know our driveway is longer than that. So I was like, how am I going to I was thinking as I was sitting there um, working on something on uh, Friday, I was like, I wonder how I'm going to be able to do the driveway if I were to do it. And I realized, oh. Yeah, you're going to have to throw the snow one way and then get all of that snow and throw it again. Because it's just not because it's just the way it's going to it's going to kind of you're going to have to cascade it out because you can't throw it against the house. Right. So you got to throw it the other way. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we have a big ass park next door. I was just going to say, you don't have a neighbor on that side. So you just kind of yeah, I got to just keep going and. Um, and the only, the only, the only part I see being an issue is the fact that our driveway goes down. There's a little hill that goes under the house. So, um, that could be problematic, but again, we figured it out. I figured it out. It'd probably be another cascading kind of this way. Anywho. Yeah. We, we, um, it was (laughs) a week ago. Usually yeah, it wasn't it wasn't MLK Day. It. it was it was a week ago Monday, uh a week from tomorrow, um, when we got the big snow dump. Like mm. they like they were predicting that the it was coming for the weekend, batting down the hatches, don't do nothing. And and people right here kind of took it seriously because I realized that weekend on Saturday and Sunday, there wasn't very much traffic. Mm. Um and I was like, ooh, people kind of getting a clue until Tuesday. Um and then oh no, it was uh, two weeks ago. It was on the 17th, that's right, because we were all off work. Uh, so then on Tuesday, the 18th is when all the stupidity got back out on the road because people uh-huh. just don't understand how plows work and problems. And like if you leave your vehicle on the street and then they need to plow, it makes it harder. Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah, in our region, for those of you that don't know, um, we have sometimes referred to as odd even days. So different cities have different kind of like snow plow um, parking limitations. It's done intentionally so that they can plow at least one side of the street on specific days. And if you leave your vehicle out there and then a big old snowstorm comes around and then your car gets buried and it is literally under two feet of snow and you don't move your car and then the plows come, like that causes problems and your vehicle just might get towed, which some people did and then 
those people got mad and i was like well you kind of did it to yourself um yeah so lots of lots of issues so now yeah it's almost two weeks later and we still have a whole bunch of snow here so I'm just looking forward to it uh, tomorrow. Oh, well, no. Sorry. Tuesday. It's going to be February, which means that we're that much closer to March and April when all this shit's going to go away. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Amen. Bless you. Because we're tight. Fortunately, I, can only, I was only quick enough to cough switch the stream. So, mm. but I'm sure that's okay. Anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, also, uh, the Olympics are done Friday. Oh, actually they start a little bit earlier because they have some things that start before the actual opening ceremonies, but the opening ceremonies is on Friday. Guess what's on Sunday next week? Super Bowl. Yeah. During the Olympics. Guess what my people do? Watch all of it. Yeah. And and guess what I am? I'm a trainer. I don't actually get to have to watch any of that. <laughs> but you know what would be really good? It's if I could train people. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, FYI, speaking of the the, the superb owl, um, <laughs> the, I, I, I don't think fables. that shenanigan is, is, is needed anymore, yeah. but, you know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Which is why I kind of snorted, because I was like, oh, that, I remember that. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals are going to be in the Super Bowl. Are going to be? I, I just just oh, did they today. they get the uh, championship? AFC. Were, yes. Were they against the uh, Kansas City Chiefs? Yes. Sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> because that was like Patrick Mahomes, man. I mean, he was like the next Tom Brady. Sorry. None it, of that makes sense to me. Uh, <laughs> it's probably because I've been in TV too much i had to keep so up i was i was just gonna say um wow um i knew Good about job, it because the, of the fact that um as i'm sitting here like this evening uh, as soon as it happened i'm hearing yelling and cars you know, horns honking and fireworks mm-hmm. uh, going off all over the place mm-hmm. because apparently and it's funny because we were just in a store and as I was leaving the store, the two two of the ladies were talking, and she's like, "Yeah, they didn't they didn't win." And I was like, "Well, that's a shame." Um, I guess she hadn't caught the recent news, so because <laughs> they won in overtime, FYI. Just again, anyway, just um, yay! I think it's the first for the Bengals. It's the first time in thirty three years. So uh, yay. no kidding, it's been dominated by. Whatever team Tom Brady is on, and yeah, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, I think. Yeah. Anyway, it's um. Yeah, I just sports balls. I baby. kind of forgot about the super event. Wow. Um. <laughs> yeah, only because um the NFL is kind of problematic in my opinion at the moment. So. Until they get the second and eleven, Garoppolo end zone, Kittle touchdown, 49ers. What are we? Uh, uh, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to look up the scores and they have an autoplay video. Uh, (laughs) Fuck you, NFL.com. Hey, so before we move on, here's my little stop it, stop it, whatever it is. Sorry, that noise was really annoying. Um, I'm not playing anything anymore. It something there's just had a weird sound. Anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, Continue. it kind of sounded like a straight echo. Um, anyways, um, here's my rant. Uh, old man in technology, knock that shit off. I want autoplay to be an opt in. <laughs> I, I don't mind. Period. I don't mind Period. autoplay. I don't mind mind autoplay as much as long as it autoplays muted. Mm, no. Yeah, so right now the Rams are... Uh... Yeah, no, no, I agree. I, I even muted okay. because I just realized uh, because shit gets spoiled. So, like, if you're on YouTube and you're, like, scrolling through video and autoplay mute is on, then they end up showing several, like, you know, moments of the video. And if it's a competition and someone gets eliminated, invariably they show who the person is that got eliminated. So don't do that. Don't autoplay. Just... 
make people an opt in if they want to like listen and see and hear your shit. Yeah. Period. Whether it's a commercial or a movie or a little movie, you like a little. If thing we want to preview the video, the mouse over thing works. You no, know, but just, you make just, some sort of indication that you want to see a preview of it. But right, but otherwise, no place. So with like scrolling, because you're scrolling, they're like, "Oh, you're ab- you're you're actually paying attention to this moment, so we should autoplay it." No, no, and no, no. <laughs> Don't be doing that technology. I got that time. I got, uh, oh, okay. Right. Well, There's still about a minute 19 left in the uh, 49ers Rams game, so we don't know if it's the 49ers or Rams quite. They're at 1720 Rams. Um, so cool. Still not exactly sure, but unless the the 49ers make a field goal or a, a touchdown with the next minute and 19 seconds, which will probably take about 10 minutes. Yeah, but we know yeah, the Bengals yeah, yeah. are going super. Super Bowl. Anyways, moving yeah. on. Let's do this. How yeah. about this? Yeah. This? This? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Gary, what's been going on over the Facebooks? <laughs> I was expecting a whole different sound cue. I don't know why. Anyways. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, over at Facebook, we would like to thank the following people for liking us. Andrew Streichner. Brandon Watson, Jesse Mitchell, Tristan Robbins, Chasrick Sade Horn, David Guerin, Brent Watts, Levi J. Hall, Kyle C. D., Tony Nesretin Hoka, and Ray Munoz. And my apologies if I butchered your names. Yeah, I think there's supposed to be a tilde over that end, so it was Munoz. Yeah. We got a lot of likes in the past month. I have no idea why, but thank you. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for liking us. And Mr. Damon, over the YouTube land. Um, we have a new subscriber, um, Clinton Nunez. And then, hi. And then on uh, episode 631, which was our What's Going On for December, Owen replied, The Marvel show's coming down the pipe. Leave me with anticipation. There's so much to look forward to for the nerds who know certain characters in Marvel comics. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. Not I've been much. really enjoying the Marvel shows. So, yeah. And Jeff? Over on Twitter, <laughs> uh, we have Vincente3020482, Chubby Cub6565, Manuel Guzman. M1, Nadar 13F, Ali Say 616-56089, Bubba's Dad 17, and Gavria uh, uh, underscore Andres 0. Nice. Thank you. Gary! Gary just looked up on was looking at Bubba's dad. Bitch, you don't know me. Get off my... Get off my... <laughs> <laughs> the hell i'm just curious mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if someone's gonna call themselves that i'm like wait do i need to follow you it's a chaser for big redneck someone who lives in alabama and everything's protected well fuck you too <laughs> that's okay i protect my tweets i get it mm-hmm. okay uh this past month we had uh three shows And some of you might be like, but wait, if today's the fifth Sunday, where's the fourth show? Uh, We took a week off because if you were listening and paying attention, children, uh, David was talking about what happened at their house um, with illness. And so we took a week off um, instead of doing like a flashback or trying to fill in or whatever. So and it was um, a good thing, I think, just of the facts that Mm -hmm. people got to relax and chill. Uh, so anyways, episode 631 at the beginning of the month was what's going on for December 2021. Uh, then we had uh, 632. Mr. Edward Angelini Cook rejoined us for Landscape of Relationship series. We talked about goals and accountability. Mm. And then uh, 633. Let's talk about food. <laughs> we had an interesting discussion about healthy versus indulgent. Mm. And I'm still thinking. 
Yeah. Well, because the American diet is crap. Just gonna say that. And so it's most true. of the American diet is indulgent. I mean, we just don't want to call it that. I think. I mean, I <laughs> I just made cheesy meatloaf with a lot of cheese because I realized it ran out of breadcrumbs, so I filled in with more cheese. Uh, you know. Yeah, I um, I was just thinking about how I want to make healthier choices and I'm, and I'm moving in that direction, but then I'm also like, but then I find myself craving certain things and I was like, mm -hmm. and they're not, the, and, they're, and I'm not craving the healthy stuff. We'll just put it that way. Mm -hmm. Also something else happened this month, which was never addressed in any of our shows. So I will address it here. The Cubs out loud anniversary happened this month. Oh, oh. and we which turned, one? The, we turned, let's see, was it 2008 or 2009? Carl, you're talking me to remember certain things. The pilot show posted January 17th of 2008. So? So, uh, on the day that we recorded Landscape of Relationships with Ed, it was 14 years minus a day, theoretically. Mm-hmm. Well, I have on my calendar the COL anniversary was on the 23rd, which might have been something else. Might be, might be when, like, episode one actually aired. Correct. I tend to count the pilot because you posted the pilot. Yes. <laughs> so. So, yeah. Uh, in any case, it was still January. 14 years. In another two years, uh, it'll be driving age in some places. <laughs> yeah. Next year, it'll be 15. Yeah. We'll have kind of a another marking point. Not as much. The super Olympic bowel movement. What? Owen. Yeah. Why not? All right. Moving on. Well, let's do this. All right. Enough of that. Um, so. <laughs> it's just if, the, if too much of it goes on, there's a check. And, that and... that 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 is what I was expecting. Just because da because even Owen was like, wait, wait, wait. Now I want to know what Gary was expecting. That was the sound clip I was expecting. We were I talking know. so much for what's going on. <laughs> it's like, oh, now it's time the right to one. Me. I just was expecting the other one. Anyways, uh, this one isn't porny or anything. Um, mm -hmm. Although we have seen more of this person. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the text is, Alrighty, I'm ready to go to work and sell some Pokemons. I mean, I can't release the game until 11 p.m., but I'm still very excited. And it's the the beautiful, adorable, fluffy, in multiple ways, uh, uh, Alex, uh, a.k.a. Fiery Biscuits. And he is fucking adorable. Who you have yet to roll around with. Yeah, despite the fact that he's about an hour and some minutes away. Well, if you ever drove your vehicle, or if it was drivable, uh, I think it is. I, I think it is drivable. Uh, I'd probably need to to at least take it for a, a, another spin. Uh, so maybe take it the... for a spin for an hour or so away, and maybe <laughs> maybe you need to go to GameStop. That's a lot of. We have an entire story about going to GameStop, but we won't go into that. <laughs> yes, we do. That's an old episode. Isn't that it? was a. That's like a couple of years old. I'm sure. We did a. We yeah. We did a. We did a. Um, it's a. It's a. a it's a Col entourage sourced um, adult story, and it was it was a holiday. Like it was a Valentine's Day. I think. I think it was Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. I say it's a Valentine's right. Day thing. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, the memories. Orgy in the back room. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Anyways, it was great. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Oh. Hi. Damn. Oh, are you looking at mine? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is called Come Back to Bed. And it is by the... Um, mm. Gurfly bear, or Gurfly bear, Grith, bear. I think it's Grithly. Grithly, I don't care. Oh, 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 oh! 
Grizzly, but with a lisp. Grizzly <laughs> bear. <laughs> Bitch, don't ruin it for me. Um, oh. <laughs> but um, it is um, this very oh. handsome um, bear cub bear uh, type. Um, sitting at the edge of his bed. <laughs> Love you, sweetie. Um, sitting at the edge of his bed, completely naked, um, hand barely covering his junk. Um, Damn. Taking a picture, I'm assuming, at, into a mirror, considering he's holding the phone. Um, and just, just kind of there. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, that's an easy follow. Uh huh. Yes. He's got an only. And he thing. is, um, he is not that far away from me. He's in Nashville, Tennessee, apparently. So, um, and and I, oh, he's so cute. God bless him. Um, wow. He's yeah. adorbs. And um, he's not shy. Hello. Anyways. Okay, y'all. Y'all can you can put the biscuits down. I haven't picked them up yet. Okay. It was a joke. We're just gonna smother him all over toast and eat it like I'm dying. Anyways. <laughs> yes. So there there's that. So wow. You're welcome, apparently. <laughs> wow. So Gary, Lots how about wow. you? Uh I forgot what I picked. What did I pick? <laughs> that man is fine. Yeah. Down right oh, here. I know this one. Oh, yeah, this. Okay, so here's this, like, there's a little video. It's a good video. It's about a half hour long, half hour, sorry, it's a half a minute. Good gravy, it's Twitter, not... You are, you are Twitter boy. painted. <laughs> but here's the thing. So this boy, this, this man, this fine Cubby. human Cubby. specimen, uh, he lives near me, apparently. Shit. Sorry. Did you just finish watching yeah. the, the 30? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. get, to, get to what happens yeah uh -huh. <laughs> so anyways um he's smart he's intelligent he's cute he was at work and this is the best part so the description is what got me to start with before i saw the video it says at work and my cute daddy bear manager struck up conversation with me for 20 minutes during my coffee break so of course i had to stroke one out at his office bathroom right after i may have also left the door unlocked <laughs> whoops yeah. Um so this this trips a couple things for me. Like one of one of my I don't know what to call it. It's not a kink. Um one of my what's that? Might be a fetish. Or no, 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 no. Fetish, fetish no, is a, a more of a half to kink. kink kink is a bonus. Right. Like one of my one of my peculiarities or whatever mm -hmm. is about people having sex at work or in ah. workplaces. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't necessarily have to be in uniform or a suit Jeez. or work attire, but it helps. Um, <laughs> but the fact that he had a whole conversation with someone that he's like, you know, turned on by and then had to go stroke one out, I was kind of like, oh, OK. Yeah. Um, and to kind of add to it, um, uh, he packing. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, like his his, I I I will admit I am. I I, I wasn't a big fan of the like uh, the like climax. Wink at the camera. No, I was a fan of the climax. Big fan of the climax. Like, wow. Um, but it was like the week before it, and then he he, he has serious O face, which is kind of funny. Um, and um. Yeah, his face is his face is very expressive. Uh huh. He has a very expressive face, and um, yes, I was just it, it just is kind of fun, and um, and then the 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 the, the climax is is beautiful. 
Um, yeah. Looks like it's going all over that toilet. I don't know if you, I'm hoping you clean it up, but right, right, that is <laughs> the one thing. That I'm a little not a fan of because I'm like, you best have cleaned up yourself afterwards, and I don't mean just your body. I mean the bathroom. So I'm, I, and I'm sitting here like looking and I'm like, did you, did you take your pants completely off? Because that went everywhere. So like, are they sitting over on the side? Like, I, you know, I don't. I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm having those thoughts. Um, cause you do have to, um, you need to quit repeating. Um, you, you do have to, um, like leave the bathroom. So, uh, if there's obvious, like debris <laughs> on your pants, it's, you know, a little hard to ignore. All right. So this brings up an interesting point before we move on. I gotta <laughs> say this. No, cause this is like one of my pet peeves. About guys going and jerking and then like shooting all over the place and they get it on their clothes. And I was like, you think nobody going to see that? You think nobody going to notice dried protein spots on your pants, on your shirt? Like for real kids? Yeah. Like it just, it always boggles my mind. I'm like, I mean, maybe if you're naturally sloppy. Because, like, whenever you eat, you always are spilling it on yourself. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm one of those people. So, you know. But, like, I try intentionally to not make a mess of myself. So, mm -hmm. like, I guess I'm a little more hyper-focused. That's where I'm just like, for real? Like, you're just going to, like, you know, act like it's a, a, a water, like, fire hose? And you're just going to let it go everywhere? I'm like, mm. No, I can't. I don't know about that. I don't know who this person is, but... Mm, All right. Sorry, I'm looking. I'm looking at a picture. Don't mind me. Keep going. Moving on into the links. Uh, guess what just launched this Friday? And mm -hmm. Actually, it was like Thursday night. Well, midnight. Uh, no, Friday. literally or before midnight on Thursday. I, I watched mm -hmm. all like ten ten p.m. Central Time at least. Uh, I had watched all three episodes of that had been released of the Legends of Vox Machina. The uh, anime made by Titmouse, the uh, people who did Avatar The Last Airbender in Legend of Korra. Um, <clears throat> on Amazon Prime Video. And uh, I, I'm going to post a Red Band trailer later with this as well as the link to the Amazon page to it. So you can uh, watch it if you have Amazon Prime and I'm sure you can I mean it's like 10 bucks a month or something for just Prime Video too if you like a month yeah. subscription or something. They are releasing in, in batches of three. First two nice. episodes are are a never before streamed story um about um basically how they got their keep. Yeah. I mean I, just not to spoil what it is. One of the actors the voice actors, David Tennant. Mm-hmm. AKA the 10th? Yeah, 10th Doctor. 10th or 11th Doctor, yeah. Yeah, I think he was the 10th Doctor because I, I think Chris Eccleston was the 9th. Although technically Chris Eccleston was the 10th, but the War Doctor wasn't given a number. He was just kind of like skipped over. Uh, but Yes, uh, he was the 10th Doctor. Yeah, so uh, the 10th Doctor from Doctor Who, the guy who played the Purple Man in Jessica Jones, uh, the guy who voices... Uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge <laughs> on uh, the current version of DuckTales uh, got, did a voice uh, in those first two episodes and he's only in the first two episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina and they immediately go into the Briarwood arc. Mm -hmm. A different start of the Briarwood arc that was a little jarring to me because I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for this thing to happen. That doesn't happen. Uh, so that was a little awkward for me. But in general, and oh my God, Gilmore. I'm sorry, Jeff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not laughing at you. I'm what? laughing at Owen's comment in the chat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a back thing. Uh, and uh, Gilmore, um, the uh, flamboyant gay uh, um, uh, magics uh, 
magic uh, item salesman uh, who is commonly seen throughout the campaign of campaign one of of uh, Critical Role. We get to see what he really looks like, and oh my god, he's a bear. He is yeah. fabulous. I love it so much. Anyways, yeah. that's that's my thing. So Legend of Vox Machina, you know, I you don't need to know anything about Critical Role or anything like that. You don't need to know anything about that. Yeah, it's so, just a fun show. So yeah, I yeah, Jim and I actually watch because we we have so as I've talked talk about on the so I have not. I did not watch a lot of the first season. Um, it was a lot, and I just could not get into it. I have seen things here and there, mm-hmm. obviously, and I know enough of some of the story to kind of storylines to know what's going on. Um, but uh, we watched it on Saturday. We kind of binged all three um, after we had dinner. Yeah, it's like it'll only take about an hour and a half of that. Yeah. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it is they have they have kept it as adult. Um, mm-hmm. So there's there's this is not cursing. for kids. Yeah, there's cursing. There's blood. Very much a la nudity. Invincible. Yeah, our invincible that they did recently. On, they released recently on Prime. So um, really cool, really amazing. Um, uh, Gary, I think you would like it. I don't know if you would like it for sure, but I think you might. <laughs> I'm just gonna what? I, I think you can like it. Me up. You're I think like, you might I like think, it. But I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. It's but I do think like I was having that conversation with Jim the other day, like on, after we were watching it, it's like, do I like this because I know the show? Mm. Or do I like this because it's a good show? That was my like I I, I, I will tell again, you this. I will tell you this. I actually prefer the original story. Well, it, it was uh, but because I'm so enamored with the original story, uh uh some things kind of that probably ruined it a little for me. I still think it's amazing. I'm okay. so excited for the rest of the series, especially being able to see the full Briar Woodwork arc animated. Um, uh, I'm excited to see how they do that. Um, mm-hmm. But it actually, I feel like knowing this and having loved it at the time that it actually aired um, might not get me as much as if somebody brand new. I think people brand new will probably like it a lot more than I do. Mm. Fair. And 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 to me, that's going to be like great. Cool. So, I, I strongly think that everybody should just just go watch it. It's fun. I just remember, it's rated R, uh, mm. a heavy R. Yeah, it's a it's a um, NC seven. Or wait, was what is it? TV seventeen or something? No, TV sixteen. I think they actually put it TV sixteen. Mm. So, mm. but there is curse words. They say fuck all the time. Well, not left and right, but it's common. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, nudity. Mm-hmm. Not right. not the nudity that some of us would prefer, but nudity. Nudity us. Yeah. All right. Damon. Okay, so um, I'm sharing a video by Joshua, I'm going to say Wiesman. Um, it's called One Dollar Giant Cinnamon Rolls. But the reason I'm sharing this one more, I'm sharing this one um, because I have found this guy um, like as a recommendation on YouTube and I thoroughly enjoy it. He's, um, I'm assuming a chef or cook. Um, but he does things either, but he calls it, but better or, but cheaper. Um, this one is a, but better, but he also does, but, uh, or, but cheaper, excuse me, but this one, he does, but better, meaning like he takes McDonald's, uh, 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 sausage and cheese biscuit and makes it better. He does, um, I watched one where he did, 
um, the spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's and made them better. Um, so yeah, it's it's very interesting. Um, he's funny, um, very kind of insane in some ways, but he's pretty cool. And I, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed watching some of his videos. Um, um, there's the the favorite part is if you go to the if you get to like after he's done all of it, he has what he calls B roll, where it's a bunch of showing him like how the stuff was prepared and all those things. So yeah, definitely check him out. Um, yeah, kind of fun. Gary. Um, so I have a couple uh, from the past month on Disney Plus. I highly, 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 highly recommend people check out Book of Boba Fett, which is the in between season series mm -hmm. stories uh, for the for the Mandalorian. So like if you like Star Wars and you have Disney Plus um, and you haven't checked it out yet. I really recommend you check out the Book of Boba Fett. It's interesting because it's it's a side storyline about Boba Fett. You find out what happened after the Sarlacc. You find out other things. Um, and Ming-Na Wen is fucking absolutely, like, fabulous as Fennec Shand. Um, and, like, so it, it's just good. And it has two more episodes to go as of when we're recording this. Um, and then they're bringing in the third season of The Mandalorian. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it all kind of comes together. because where we've caught up with contemporary time question mark um mm. in the era of when this is taking place so I, I recommend that folks check it out because um uh it's just it's good and if you are an original trilogy like hardcore fan there is so much fan service in like like little details of things that they put in there there's a lot of practical effect um there's some there's some interesting things. There's story there's storylines and characters that come from the legend universe that is supposedly not canon, but now they're reintroducing them in a different way to make them canon. So fans are like losing their shit. Um anyways, I just I like it and it's fun and it's kind of kitschy. I heard something um, about the Gamorian guards. Oh, yes, and people have lost their shit because there are um Gamorian guards in them. And uh Damon, I think you and I had a discussion about them. Um <laughs> Uh, yes. and they are thick men. Um, they are bodybuilders. However, uh, they are, they are modified. Mm. So they are not painted. Um, and there's sort of some giveaways if you look real close at a couple of things, but, um, that doesn't, that doesn't take away from the fantasy. Uh, <laughs> if you got to think for like orcs or, you know, green pig mm. men things. Um, and then over on Netflix, um, I watched Tick, Tick, Boom, which I discussed, I think, in pre-show with Damon and Edward. Uh, it is really, really good. If you like Rent slash love Rent and you know about Jonathan Larson, Andrew Garfield, um, I'm kind of in the camp. I really think he should be a contender for oh, some awards because mm. it's really good. Um cool. And he was not known to be a singer before this. Now, he had a year's lead time before filming to prepare himself to be a better musician to learn to play the piano. Um, and he did. And I think he did such an amazing job. And I think Lynn Winwell Miranda did so good. And if you watch a ton of stuff online on YouTube about the making of and all this stuff, it will blow your mind as to the shit, the detail that they went into to make this film um, about Jonathan Larson and the set and stuff like that. Um, and then last but not least, Paramount Plus Star Trek Prodigy, which is the Nickelodeon series that they're starting on Paramount Plus and then later introducing over to Nickelodeon, I think, next year. I think it comes out in 2023, a Nickelodeon for kids. Mm. It's the animated series. Um, I really recommend people check it out. It's good. I love the animation style. And um, I'm a Voyager fan from when it launched on the UPN. Um I contributed to the Voyager Kickstarter that is currently um, underway as a documentary that's being made. Um, and the fact that Janeway is a hologram assistant on the ship that nobody ever knew existed that has been lost um, and is highly coveted. You have to watch the series to understand the whole storyline. But and the the oh. this kind of misfitty crew that comes together, um, it's just really, really uh it's good. I, I really am enjoying it. So I'm, I'm very proud of all the franchises, like these big 
you know, IPs. It's interesting to look back to when we were kids and to think about them and look where they are now, you know, 30, 40 years later, and to see how some of them, they had some rough patches. Mm. And I feel like for the most part, especially like the Star Trek, Star Wars in like universes have really gotten their head on or out of their ass or whatever you want to call it. Like they've gotten things so much like i think they finally figured out like oh if we do what the fans want <laughs> and we you know and we don't like get get stupid sickly sweet with the fan service and we incorporate things and we give them easter eggs and we like hire good talent and we pay you know what i mean like i think if you like if you do it right then Mm -hmm. You make really good stuff. And will you make everybody happy? Absolutely not. There will always be naysayers or always be people bitching about stuff. And fuck you. Um, because I'm just kind of like, you know what? Like, I'm not a fanatic. I'm just a fan. I just, I'm just a person who wants to be entertained. I find them entertaining. I suggest other people check them out and enjoy them. Um, yeah. And, and so, and I'm looking forward to Picard coming out soon. Um, I think that's coming in March, beginning of March. Um, and, and then apparently there's this whole issue because people are pissy because they've already announced the end of Picard. And then what cracks me up is I watch these videos and some people are like, um, hello, when they announced it, they said it was going to be a limited series and they already announced how long it was going to be. You just didn't fucking pay attention. Mm. This is not news. Um, <laughs> so not anyways. new. Right. Anyways. So, uh, yeah, I, suggest those and i realize these are all on platforms that you have to kind of pay for um these are the main three that i have that i pay for uh and i'm okay with that so <laughs> i'll be honest um out of the three of them it's it's kind of a tie between disney plus and paramount plus as to which one i watch the most um mm. and then netflix is kind of after that fact so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just don't give up near netflix mm. <laughs> Anyways, I guess what, folks? Whew, that was a long one. Uh, I'm tired. A lot happened this month. Uh, anyways, that's uh, the end of the show. Play anyways, contact us. Pop over to our website, comesoutloud.com. Leave a comment on our blog. Uh, you can also shoot us an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail, sexy or otherwise, at 361 we'll talk. That's 361-265-8255. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. You can join our social chat over on Telegram at tinyworld.com slash telegram dash col. Or find out when we're planning on recording these shows by popping over to our calendar at tinyworld.com slash calendar dash col. You can ver find various accoutrements such as a Cubs Out Loud shirt. We're all kind of wearing one in different forms and colors. As well as hats. And mugs. You can get that at zazzle.com slash cups out loud. You can also get some of the t shirts, uh, some of the t shirt designs are created by Smashy. And you can find more of his designs over on his T public page, tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud or send us some cash at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. You can rate us on iTunes, subscribe to us on Google Play Podcasts, uh, Amazon, Audible, Spotify. You can find me anywhere on the internet as Box Set, Box Puppy, Box Cub, Box, something or other, uh, Air or Windgem, W Y N D G E M, over on Twitch, where we stream Final Fantasy XIV and Bears and Dragons, the. Uh, a show where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Damon. Yes. Um, if you would to get in touch with me, you can find me on most bear sites as Theater Cup 79. That's T H E A T R E C U B 79. Um, as I said, on most bear related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online at Scarebear73. And with that, say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao.